Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Are you ready? Yes. 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 Oh. Okay, let us start now talking about the new topic. Sí, ya pasó lista. No, yo. Yes. <laughs> no, yo. ¿Qué puede ser de otra? No, todavía. Sí. 
I'm still waiting for the rest of the crew that we want to have here today. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go. Let us swing a little water first to start. Okay, let me see, we have 13 now. Okay, I'm going to start checking the, the attendance. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Bautista. Bautista. Hello teacher. Ahí está Bautista. Is there Escobar? Present. Claudia Raquel. Present. Ahí está Claudia también. Francis Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ahí está Francis. Bye. Galileo. Galileo a la una. Jonathan. Jose Jonathan. Present. Ahí está Jonathan. Jose Rodrigo. Rodri. Eh, Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Eso. Laura Carolina. Laura, Laura, it's not here, Laura. Maria Concepcion. Present. Excellent. Maria Elena. Maria Elena. Not yet. Mayra Veralice. Pero dice, me ha llegado Miguel Ángel, eh, 
Saira Marleni. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Misael. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Okay, Wendy. Jenny. Present teacher. Okay. Yesenia uh, Lisset. Present teacher. Okay. Diego Ernesto. Present teacher. Brian Javier. Present teacher. Okay. Diego Brian. Diego Brian. Okay, the rest are going to add later on because maybe the traffic or something like that. I don't know. But we are ready to start now talking about the new topic. Let me see what do we have here. Now we've got 15. We need at least two more in order to start. But we are going to stand now because we are going to talk about a different topic today. And let me show you what we're going to talk about today. Okay, what do you know about this topic? What do you know about that? What can you talk about? It? Just take a look at the name of the video. Okay, today we are going to talk about indirect yes, no question. That is the main topic for today. And also, we are going to discuss this question in order to start with the class. Let us start now. Welcome to all of you. I hope that all of you can understand this topic because it's really important that you have it. Okay, the question said, does your company manufacture products? Are production processes updated frequently? Is there a quality control department at your company? Let us talk about the first question. And later on, we are going to continue with the rest. Okay, what can you tell me about it? In my company, no, it's a service. Ah, it's a service. No, no product. No product, no manufactured product. Okay, salvado por eso. Okay. 
In my company, me neither teacher. In my case, in the back, there is a area called assurance quality, but it's for new products, but in this, but like services in the platform online. So it's um, different. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I don't know what is happening to my microphone. I need to be careful about that because suddenly I'm I, I'm starting an idea and and I see that something is happening. But I got your 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 message. Okay, somebody else wants to say something about this. I would like to hear you. Let us talk about the uh, question. In my company, yes, in the food areas, is spice and sauces. Spices and sauces, oh, okay. Okay, what else, somebody else? In my company, it's not manufacturing products. Wait, somebody all want to say something about it? We can talk about the second one. The second question, are productive processes updated frequently? What do you think about this question? Are production processes updated frequently? Yes or not? Just tell me. In my case, teacher, yes. The the assured is the reviewed uh, frequently. Frequently, frequently. Okay. Maria? Yes, teacher. In my company, uh, six months, they are evaluation to see if the change um, are necessary. Okay, 
let us talk about the, about the last one. Is there a quality control department at your company? Is there a quality control department at your company? But the second question is really important too because uh, it is really necessary to know if the production processes is updated frequently or, or maybe in a factory they continue doing the same process that they started doing two years ago. Yes, teacher, there is a quality department that regularly um, the process and target with the, the department production, uh, production department. Okay. Okie dokie. What else? Any command? No. Okay. Let us continue. Then let me see. You want to see a conversation? Ah, no, you not the Okay, we have we, we we had this conversation. Uh, city manager are in a meeting to discuss the production process of a new shampoo. Read the conversation and take to practicing. Okay, I invite you to read it first and later I'm going to read it. The conversation, uh, you, can, you are going to find Lucia, Marta, and Greg. Three different. Okay, I need that you read it um, first, and later I'm going to read it in order that you can listen. That way that, that you need to pronounce each word. I wonder if I received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. 
I will look as to this revise. Como es revisar? Revise, revise, revise. Carlos, your microphone. Hey. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay, ven que practico. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm going to read it. Um, I'm going to start with Lucia. I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I'd like us to receive the step to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the production is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my files. Greg, could you find I'll find out if the production manager is around. I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay. And now I'm going to read it in a slowly way in order that you uh, can have a clear idea of each word. But it's really important that you identify all the difficult words or expression and in order that you can uh, take into account at the moment that I'm going to read it again. Okay. I'm going to read it again. I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I'd like us to receive the step to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the production is finished. Yeah. That's a good point, Greg, Marta. Would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control with get will go very high? Of course, let me revise my file. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay. Okie dokie. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. Lo puede leer una vez más. <laughs> Quede con dudas en alguno. Okay. I'm going to read it um, in a natural pause in una velocidad natural. Uh, we are speaking with somebody, okay? Try to pay attention. I wonder if you receive a copy of analysis or the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia, perfect. I like that. I, I like us to, to revise the step to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the production is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Brad. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go? very high 
Of course, let me revise my files. Great. Could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay. You got it there. Okay, any questions so far from here? Hello. This, this word I, I, I have problem to pronounce uh, uh, where in this uh, Lucia when say perfect. I, I look, I like us to revise. Me too, in this word. Revise or revise or so. Thank you, teacher. Read it, please. Can you read it? Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye. Okay, para, thank you. Para que no haya duda. <laughs> okay, what else? Teacher, eh, perfect. Luego, esa I, D, y luego like. I, 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 you need to put the, the tip of your tongue in the upper teeth. Necesita poner la punta, la punta de su lengua en los dientes superiores. I like. I like. I, I, I like. I like a surprise. The step to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Okay, pero hoy les voy a decir esto en español. 
hoy esta conversación necesito que ya me la hagan así como con mayor naturaleza, respetando los puntos, los signos de admiración, everything. Ok. Okay. Okay, I'm going to read again. Yes, I, I would like. Okay. I wonder if you receive a copy or, or the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's good. a good point, Brett, Marta. Would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high. Of course, let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? This is a question. Could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay, any questions so far from here? I need yeah. at least three volunteers who want to perform this conversation. Necesito tres voluntarios que hagan la conversación. Try, try to... teacher. Me teacher. Me teacher, Zaira. Okay, los primeros que dijeron mi, 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 mi. Bautista. Okay, ahí no sé quiénes fueron los primeros tres que dijeron mi, mi, mi. Okay. Zaira. <laughs> Wendy. Bautista. Yo me quedo la segunda. Ok, go ahead. Ay, Lucía. Go ahead, now, please. Ok, I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. Me o quién es? I have, thank you. Uh, you are, you are oh my god. I have thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like I like you to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I'd like to know if the quality control step should be re period was finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Craig. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost of the room of second quality control will be very high? Yeah, we <laughs> Of course, let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay. Somebody else wants to do it? Me, teacher. Yesenia. Okay, Yesenia. Me, Jenny. Jenny and? Me, Beatrice. And Beatrice, okay. Uh, yo, Lucia. Okay. I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. And you, Marta. Hi. Okay. I have. Thank you. I have. Thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I'd like us to revise the step to verify 
that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repaired once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my fine. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is wrong? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Well, um, let, let me see. I, I consider that it's necessary that I read it again. I'm going to read it again. And if you have questions about a word, just let me know. I'm going to read it again. Or, okay, okay, I'm going to let uh, the next team do it and later on I'm going to read it. Okay, somebody else who wants to read it and later on I'm going to do it again. Somebody else wants to read it? Me, teacher, Lillian. Me, teacher, Diego. Okay, okay, okay. Me, teacher, Mikael. Okay, let us do it now. Wow. Let's do it. Ladies first. The ladies first, okay. Ana Lilia. Sí. ¿Quién soy yo? Marta o Lucía o <laughs> Ladies first, Lucía. Okay. I wonder if you received received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have. Thank you. I have. Thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like you to revise the step to verify that we are ready to start producing or new shampoo. Right. I would like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's good point. Great. Marta, would you mean would you mind selling use if the cost to Grows a second quality control with we, we will very keep. Of course, let me revise my files. Great. Could you find all if the production manager is thorough? I need him to quality what the revision is said it about is about. Only teacher. It's on mute, teacher. God, my goodness. My goodness. Okay, only yes in some words that sometimes, I don't know, uh, maybe this part I would like to explain you in Spanish, but I'm going to do it in English and just tell me if you got my message. Suddenly, when we have a consonant, a strong consonant, like the letter D in this case, find 
and we have a vowel sound here, we make a link and we produce the sound together. Find out. Could you find out? Find out. Can you understand what I'm saying? Could you find down? Find out. Find down. Okay, find out. Find down. Let, let, let me give you, let me give you something here in order that you can like a find doubt, doubt, like that, something like that. Is it is clear? Find out. Okay. Recuerden que no estoy usando ningún símbolo del IPA para acercarme al 100%. Lo estoy haciendo eh, así con, con las letras comunes, porque creo que ya han visto cuando se usa el, el IPA o los símbolos, ¿cierto? Okay, I'm going to read it again. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis. Listen, this word, analysis, analysis, analysis. I don't know if you can hear it. Hello. Hello. Could you repeat Analysis. that? Analysis. Analysis. I'm going to write down uh, some words there in order that you can uh, get some ideas. Let me see if I can write it down something close in order that you can uh, have a clear idea. Maybe it's going to be better if I, well, I don't want to confuse you because if I show you how we we're writing down in a, in APA, maybe I'm going, I need to get it. Mm, let me see how can I write it to you. Maybe I'm going to put it in this way. I need to switch. Uh, something like that. I don't know if you can read it. Analysis. Okay, much better. Okay, in that way, maybe. Read it, please. Léalo, por favor. Analysis. Okay, much better. Okay, try try to keep it in your mind in order that you can uh, that you can have it. Okay, for later on. Okay, before to go to the breakout room, I would like to know if you have a more question about how to pronounce the word. Antes de pasar ya al breakout room, me gustaría saber si tienen alguna pregunta, porque necesito que si ya uh, we can produce the sound in a better way. Okay. Any questions so far from here? No? Okay, make an assurance chat if you want. Teacher. Hello, sir. Uh, in the second of Greg, 
Este, ¿Nos lo podría leer de nuevo? This one? Yes. Okay. Right, right. I'd like to know, I'd like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished with T, with T at the end, finished. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. No, finish it, no. No, 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 no in that way, finished. Okay, something else? No? Okay, I'm going to stop chatting. And we are going to the breakout room to practice. Teacher. Hello, sir. Puede poner la imagen de nuevo, please. Of so score I can. Here we go. Okay. Here you are. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Any question? Nos puede habilitar para compartir. Ah, okay. Please. Okay, excellent. I'm going to stop and I'm going to give you the opportunity to... Okay, here we go. I'm going to create a breakout room. We got only 17. One is going to be integrated by three. Ah, man, but uh, we have three in each group, right? Let me see. Si tendrían que estar tres. If I got five. That Marta doesn't have much time. Only two, two phrases. <laughs> okay, but uh, well, we can leave it in two if you want. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're going to leave it in two. Okay, I'm going to create it. Only the room one is going to be integrated by three, Carlos, Maria, and Jenny. And the rest are going to be integrated by two. Let me see the time that I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you five minutes. If you need more time, I'm going to give you more, no problem at all. Okay, here we go.
the step should be repeated once the crawl is finished. Yeah, that's a good point. Could I mail? Could you mail still use if the cost to run a second quality control with very him? Of course, let me revise my thoughts. Great. Could you find. Ay, ay, ya pues me había dicho. Great. Could you, could you find a him? Ay, espera. Great. Could you find though if the production manager is a room? I need him to quality what the revision Steve is about. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to read the last part. Could you find out? Find out if the, product, if the production repeat production 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 manager production manager. Manager, manager, manager is around. Is, is around. Is around. I need him. I need him to clarify. Okay. To clarify. To clarify. What the revision step is about. What. The revision slip up is about step. Step. Sí, no se le olvide hablar en spray. <laughs> Por favor. Si sí, ande estoy ahí leyendo, se me olvida. Okay. Y cuando digo a ver el papel me pongo peor. No. Claudia, any question? Uh, no, it's okay. Okay, thank you. Teacher, not enough time. He's on mute. And I've been talking two seconds ago. I don't know. Okay, I, I know maybe it's not enough time. Uh, I need to check out the attendance now, of course. And later on, you are going to continue talking about it because I need that you, ne you learn how to pronounce each word and that way it's gonna be better to communicate. And no matter who is going to listen to you, the, uh, he or she is going to understand it clearly. But let me check up the attendance first. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present. Bautista. Present. Escobar. I'm here. Claudia Raquel. Present. Francis. 
Francis Galileo Jose Jonathan Jose Rodrigo Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. I'm here, teacher. Ahí está María Elena. Mayra. Veralice. Mayra. Miguel Ángel. Zaira. Present teacher. Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Ryan. Present. Okay. Mayra Veralice no está. Ni Miguel Ángel. Jose Rodrigo, okay. Okay, later on, maybe. Okay, um, I need to know if you are ready to start with the conversation or do you need more time in order to practice? Just let me know now, please. Ready, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, do it. Who wants to start? Quien quiere iniciar? Who wants to? Me, teacher, and Lisa. Ana Beatriz and? Lisa. Okay. Go ahead. Yesenia. Please. Okay. Yes, Mm, I first. All right. I wonder if you recite a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have. Thank you. I have. Thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I'd like us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Why I like to know if the quality control steps should be repeat when the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Martha, would you mind tell us, telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my findings. Greg, could you? Find out if the production manager is around. I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay. Who wants to continue? Who's next? Me, me and Laura. No, Laura and me. <laughs> Teacher. Okay. Go ahead, Wendy. Okay, Wendy. And I am Lucia. Ah, creo que no la tengo compartida. La, la puedes compartir. 
Laura. Ah, sí, permita. Ajá, gracias. Hoy okay. sí. Wendy. Yes. Ok. I wonder if you recited a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have. Thank you. I have. Thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like just ask to re, re, revise the stack to verify that we are ready to start production our new shampoo. Right. I'd like to know if the quality control step should be repeat of once the product is finished. Yeah. That's a good point. Grel, Marta, would you mean telling us if the cost to run, run uh, a second quality control will, will go very high? Of course, let me revise my files. Grel, could you find though in the production manager is wrong? I need him. To clarify what the revision stack is about. Thank you. Déjelo ahí, por favor. Ay, perdón, teacher. Okay, I, I can put in mine, no, no problem. I can share it. If you, okay, if you teacher, can. sorry. Okay. Um, I would like to reason. Okay, right here I would like to explain you this. I guess Wendy, how do you how do you read this, Wendy? Sorry. I don't know if you see my 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 mouse pointer. No. No, maybe not because um, Laura is sharing. Okay, in, in the word repeat, when we have ED, uh, in, in regular verb, when we have a T and D, we are going to produce the sound ED at the end. Repeat it. Repeat it. Repeat it. Okay. And the last one, it is finished with T at the end. Finished. Finish. Finished. 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 With, with, with a T sound at the end. Finished. Okay. Okay. Much better. Okay. And what else? iPhone. Well, I guess only that. Okay. Thank you, Laura. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Who's next? Who's next? No next? No? Mi teacher, Zaira. Eh, Mi Diego. teacher. Ready, Zaira. Okay. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have. Thank you. I have. Thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I'd like, I'd like us to re revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course, 
Let me revise my files. Great. Could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Thank you, teacher. Your microphone, teacher. Microphone, my microphone again. My goodness. Okay, somebody else wants to read? Just let me know. If you say no, okay, we are going to continue with something else. But what okay. I want is that you learn how to pronounce. And I, I, and I already found out the way how can I write uh, with symbols in order that you can read it in that sure. way. Hello, tell me. I want to read, but I alone in the... Somebody wants to help you, help her? Me teacher. Okay. I am first, uh, Santos Mikael. Okay. I wonder if you receive a copy of the an analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I, I have. have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like, I like it. Uh, to receive the step to verify to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I would like to know if the quality control steps should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, do you mind tell us if the cost of run second quality Quality control will be well very high. Of course, let me revise my files. Great, great. Could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify. clarify what the revision is about. Thank you. My microphone again. Okay, uh, as you can see, we, I have some symbol here in order that you can produce the sound of this word manage, man, manager, manager, manager. Manager. No, manager. Man, manager. 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 Ah, much better. Manager. Okay. Okay, thank you. We are going to continue. Let us now talk about the questions about this conversation. Okay, we have three, uh, three questions. Pair word discuss this, this question with a pattern. Number one, what is the new product Lucia, Marta and Greg are discussing about? 
Anita, you tell me, but you are going to discuss her. The second one, what are two steps of the production process they mention in the conversation? And the number three, what did Greg suggest about the production process? Okay, let us discuss this with somebody else and later on you are going to give me the answer. I'm going to switch. Let me see. Oh, I got less people, only 15. I don't know why. Si ahora no es viernes. Maybe Friday, but not today. I don't know why. Three minutes to talk about this. Me sacó. Really? <laughs> sí, de la nada me sacó Zoom. And I'm seeing that Beatriz is not there too. Sí, no sé qué pasó. Both of you are out of the, the breakout room. I don't know why. Let me see, what can I do? Saira is alone. I'm going to send you to number four. Con ella estaba. Ah, con ella estaba. Sí. Ah, I'm going to send it again. Okay. Ana Beatriz. Ana. Hi, teacher. Me sacó el internet y ya no pude entrar en la computadora. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm going to send you to room two in order that you can talk with your classmate.
Okay, who wants to read the first question? Only one, no more than one, please. The question number one, teacher. Okay, read it, please. What is the new product, Lucia, Massa, and Greg? are discussing about uh, the new product is a new shampoo okay fair thank you number two somebody else me teacher okay what are two steps of the production process they mentioned in the conversation okay uh one is the quality control step and the second, let's see, um, a second quality control. Okay, thank you. The quality control and the revision steps. Okay, number three. Who wants to read it? What did Gerson suggest about the production process? Should you repeat it? Sugiere un segundo control de calidad. What is the answer? What is the answer? He suggests a second control quality, I think. Okay, he, he suggests the quality control process be repeated after the production is finished. Okay. Let us continue then. We already had discussed the answer of this question. And now we need to talk about this a little bit. I don't know if you can see it very well. How to use indirect questions yes no questions and we are going to look at the example in the box maybe um before to talk about this show we need to clarify what is that what is the difference between uh direct and indirect question but let us take a look at this share first using the question to ask questions in a more polite manner. An indirect question expresses the same meaning as a direct question, but it does not present question, word, order. Take a look at that, that, that expression that is underlined. But it does, it does not Present question word order. What does mean?
is about say yes or no in other words? Has mm. it has to be with the uh, it has to do with, with with the order that we are going to follow because remember at the moment that we create some uh question we we need to follow uh some rules but let us see this chart first and later we can discuss it about it i'm going to read number one uh this is an example i wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process okay uh, and now compare it to what about this one? One B. Did you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process? What is the difference between one A and one B? What can you tell me about it? Take a look at it and explain it in your own words. The French is more polite. Okay. What else? In the second sentences, use a uh, verb auxiliar. This. Ah, in the second one, we got an auxiliar. Okay. What else? Que mas? You need to take care of uh, every detail. Okay, let us continue reading and later on we are going to, or maybe uh, I can tell you this. Okay, if you take a look at the first one, we don't have uh, any question, question mark. We don't have any question mark in the first one. Yes or no? Hello? What teacher? Why? Okay, don't worry about it. If you can answer it now. In the second one, we have a question, question mark. And at the same time, we have an auxiliary. That means that the letter B we call it, uh, this is a, this is a direct um, question, right? And the third one is an uh, indirect question. Okay, well, let us see the second uh, example. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Do we have a question mark here? No. Who wants to read the second one? ¿Quién quiere leer la segunda? Meet it. Okay. Should the quality control step be repeated once the product is finished? Okay, well, what is the difference between the, the first one and the second one? That is what I 
wonder, you notice. Take a look of both of them. Observe them bien las dos, por favor. Teacher. Hello. Um, maybe because in the first one, the 2A, the phrase I'd like to know is expressing doubt. So that's why we assume that it's a type of questions without a question mark. Mm, good point. Good point. And you need to take into account, okay? But let us see the, the example that we have at the, at the right side. Right here, we are going to read 1A, Marta. Would you mind telling us if because to run a second quality control will go very high. And we are going to compare it with the 1B. Will the cost to run a second quality control go very high? What happened there? Take a look at this question. Okay, don't worry about it. Did I read the second one? Great. Could you find out if the production manager is around? Compare it with this one. Is the production manager around? What is the difference between both of them? Okay, go. Let, let's go ahead. Notice that, that in the first teacher, uh, say Greg first and the second. Okay, right. Uh, is a subject antes de, de comenzar la oración. No sé cómo sería. Uh -huh, okay, okay. You got you got some ideas about it, but but before to to go so deep to these two questions, what you need to know is that, uh, for example, here we have the word "good." Do you mind telling us? Is is asking a question? For that reason, we need to put the question mark at the end, and something happened here also. Will you find out if the production manager is around? And about the left side, we don't have any word that is showing us that we are asking a, a direct question. For the reason, we have an explanation here that said, notice that if we introduce the indirect question, which will have sentence order, we have if that is going to be subject plus the bear. Helping bears like do, does, and did are not included in indirect questions. We need to take into account that we are not going to use do, does, and did. But later on, I'm going to tell you more about it. <clears throat> okay, uh, let us talk about punctuation when the introductory statement is a phrase. The resulting statement with the indirect question will take a period and not a question mark at the end. Right here is the answer. I need that you read it over and over until you understand it exactly. When the introductory statement is afraid, 
this is a phrase that is underlined. I like to know the resultant statement with the indirect question will take a period and not a question mark at the end. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished and we got a period here. We don't have a, a, a question mark. On the other hand, at the right side, say when, when the introductory segment is a question, the resulting statement with the indirect question will take a question mark at the end. I don't know if you if you understand both uh, concept. It is really clear, but let us see if you can understand it. When you are going to use question mark and when you are not going to use question mark. Tell me your own words and later on I'm going to explain you with some examples. Listen, when the introductory segment is afraid, the resulting statement with the indirect question will take a period and no equation mark at the end. And the second one say when the introductory segment is a question, the resulting statement with the indirect question will take a question mark at the end. And right here at the right side, you can see at the moment that uh, you use a word like would, like could, you already know that we are talking about question, no matter if you have some a name here at, at, at the beginning. But but this is a, a, a noun. And right here, what we have is just a phrase that is totally different. For the reason right here, we are using question mark. But I don't know if you have any questions so far from here, or, or just let me show you some example and another explanation in order that you can understand better. It's up to you. I'm ready for both issues. Okay, no sé si me comprenden la explicación de por qué a la izquierda no usamos el signo de interrogación y en la derecha sí lo usamos. En la izquierda no lo usamos cuando eh, existe una frase introductoria. En este caso, por ejemplo, podría ser I wonder, me preguntaba, me preguntaba if you receive a copy. ¿Sí? I like to know, me gustaría saber. Es una frase. If the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. There, we don't need to have a question mark. Ahí no necesitamos tener un signo de pregunta. En cambio, a la derecha, sí, porque desde el momento que tenemos la palabra would you mind, sí, or could you find, podría usted, le interesaría, le importaría a usted tal cosa. Entonces, ya tenemos forma de pregunta, por lo tanto, damos el signo ahí. Pero no se preocupe, I'm going to give you more example about it. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here or can I go to the next slides? Hello? Hello, hello, hello. You hear me? No? No questions, teacher. Okay, okay. Right here, we are going to clarify your doubts. But we need to know what are indirect questions. Okay. Let us see in this way. Because I know that maybe some of you are having some, a kind of problem in order to understand it. And I, I was thinking about that, you know. Direct question are the normal question that we can ask. Yes or no, but they still. Hello? Excuse me?
Somebody want to say something about it? Just let me know. Okay, uh, I, I, I've been telling you this. What are indirect questions? And you can read the concept here. Let me drink a little water. better sometimes it's necessary to drink a little water because okay let us see what are uh, injury question in order to see it we need to know exactly what is happening here the question are the normal question that we can ask friends family members and people who we know well esas serían las preguntas directas ¿sí? You can form uh, the question using the, the question model. I don't know if you understand this, like kind of acronym or something like that. No, teacher. No? No. Okay, I got it here at the left side. This is the question formula. ¿Qué significa esto? Question words? The key U is question word, for example, where? And then we have the letter A, uh, an auxiliary verb. Where do? And then we have the subject, where do you? And then we have the letter M for the main verb. Where do you work? Eso es lo que usamos en preguntas directas. Hacemos uso de, de la fórmula Watson. ¿Sí? ¿De dónde se desprende las primeras dos letras? De la question word. ¿Sí? WH. Question word. La segunda tendría que ser un auxiliar. La tercera el sujeto. Y la tercera el verbo principal. Si usted se graba eso al momento de hacer una pregunta, la va a hacer muy bien. No sé si estoy claro hasta ahí. Sí, teacher. Todos, 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 claro. Yes, teacher. Dos, van dos. No more than two. Yes, teacher. Ah, tres, four, okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Five, six, seven. Yes, teacher. Eight. Nine. I need the half plus one. <laughs> the half plus one. Okay. And also we have an exception here. Yes, no question. Do not use a, a, a question word. But they will still follow ASM. Auxiliary bear, subject, and main bear. For example, do you like bananas? Auxiliary, subject, and a neighbor. Okay, try to keep in mind these two keywords. And make an screenshot if you want. You can make an screenshot. Okay, hemos comprendido estas dos partes, sí. Yes. yes. Oh, okay, yes. Okay, yes. excellent, excellent. I'm going to continue. Um, okay, I got some example of a direct question. Where's the bathroom? Esa es una pregunta directa. Where's the bathroom? But when we talk about indirect question, are a little more formal and polite. We use them when talking to a person we don't know very well or in professional situation and their form is a little different. Example of a, an indirect question. 
Could you tell me where the bathroom is? I may say where the could you tell me where the bathroom is? And, and I don't need to have a, in this case, maybe I need to have the, the question mark because I, I'm using could. But let us see another example here. Okay. Uh, you need to take into account the following expression, phrase it for indirect question. Las preguntas indirectas van a comenzar con alguna de estas frases. Could you tell me? Do you know? I was wondering. Do you have any idea? I like to know. Would it be possible? Is there any change? Teacher. Hello, sir. This phrase is only for indirect questions or has more? Have more? Mm. Not necessary, okay. What I'm trying to tell you is this, because you, you can use uh, one, of the, one of these in order to ask uh, a direct question too. Yeah? Yeah, okay. But, but, but what I'm trying to tell you is this, that these phrases you are going to use it to start indirect question. In another word, as, as soon as you see one of these phrases, you are going to have in mind that maybe could be an indirect question, right? Let us see something here. Direct and indirect question in English, example. Who wants to read the following? one? Where is Market Street? Where is Market? Market the street. Okay, indirect. Once indirect. Ready. Indirect. Could you tell me where Market Street is? Okay, the first thing that we need to see here is why we have a question mark. Easy, because we had the word could you. Podrías tú, okay? Por eso tengo también el signo ahí. Uh, an indirect question with is, are, the verb is, comes, after the subject. For example, market street right here. You can see it here. And we don't have it here. Could you tell me where market street is? And right here is different. Where is market street? Because this is a different way. Where is market street? And right here we said, could you tell me where market street is? Okay, and I don't know if we have any questions so far from there. Okay, teacher. Okay, let us see the next example. Who wants to read it? Can you read again, please? What time does the bank open? Okay, and what about the next one? Do you know what time the bus opens? What happened here? Open. Yeah. Why? Why do we have an inflection like S here? Well, here is different, right? Because we already had this. But right here, we, have, we got the, the auxiliary at the beginning. And at, at the same time, we had the word then here. In any question, we, we don't use the auxiliary. There, do, does, and did. Also, you can see that the bear is the bear is open in the direct question and opens in the indirect question. I don't know if, if it is clear for you. Okay, let us see another example here. Okay, why did you move to Europe? In the indirect question say, I was wondering why you move to Europe. 
Can you see the, the, the sun inflection, some changes here? Puede verse los cambios, sí. I was wondering why you, aquí apartamos, quitamos ya el auxiliar did, y por lo tanto entonces el verbo cambia. Again, there is no auxiliary verb did in the indirect question. In fact, this indirect question isn't even a question. En realidad esta no es una pregunta, it's more of a statement that invites the other person to give more information. Que invita a la otra persona a dar más información. Let us see another example. How has he managed to get in shape so quickly? And Indirect, do you have any idea how he is managed to get in shape so quickly? What can you see there? The auxiliary verb had and has can be used in both the direct and indirect question, but in the direct question, has come before the subject. And in the indirect question, has uh, comes after the subject. Ahí está la clave. Si logra entender esa parte, creo que ya la hicimos. Pero si no, también la hicimos. Okay. Let, let, let us see another example. Here, let me move a little bit. Okay. Jared, how much does this motorcycle cost? Es una pregunta directa. Veamos una indirecta. I'd like to know, que sería la forma corta de I could like to know, how much this motorcycle cost? To further in the question, remove das and change cost to cost. Mire, aquí está en rojo, lo tenemos. Para formar la pregunta indirecta, quite el auxiliar y cambie el verbo cost a cost. No sé si ya con ese ejemplo me logró comprender qué es lo que estamos tratando de. Ok, but, but let, let us see the next one. Who wants to read it? Quien quiere leerla? Me, teacher. Tío. Okay. okay. Direct. Can you finish the project by tomorrow? Indirect. In okay. Will, will it be possible for you to finish the project by tomorrow? Ah. Okay. For the question with can, we can use the phrase, would it be possible to make it indirect? Cuando usemos eh, algunas que lleven can, ¿sí? Vamos a hacer uso de would it be possible para hacerlas indirectas. Veamos uno más. Can we change the meeting? to Thursday and for my indirecta, is there any change? We could change the meeting to Thursday. Is there any change? Is another option for forming indirect question with can. Okay, yo creo que con los ejemplos que hemos dado, it is enough. Now I would like to hear, I don't know if you have a question. And I invite you to take a look at the, at the conversation that we have here previously. Let me see if we have it here. Okay, you got it involved. I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. 
and it is a question. Yeah. Or I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated when the product is finished. Or we can use the following. Would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Right here, we have a question mark. And also right here, we got a question mark. Could you find out if the production manager is around? Okay, now I need the UPA some example to me. Who wants to do this? Hello. Before we go, before we go, I need that at least you tell me son. Necesitamos saber la diferencia entre las directas y las indirectas. Who wants to try before we go? For example, teacher, what is your name? Uh, indirecta. Indirecta. Okay. indirecta. Could you please tell me what your name? What your name is? Okay. Sería una forma, pero hay muchas maneras más de poder preguntar. ¿Cómo sería okay. otra? Ay, ¿Qué es eso? Es la alarma para dormir. Yes, it is. Ay, qué lindo. That means that we are so close to finish. My phone is telling me go to bed, go to bed. Sí, para ya no pasarme porque la vez pasada se me habían desconfigurado los dispositivos y me pasé unos minutos y yo sé que ustedes ya querían de gritarme y decirme, teacher, ya es hora. Teacher Está. tiene la hora, la hora de España, le vamos a hacer. <ríe> hey, cabal. Comprensivo, no, eh. teacher, comprensivo. Un compañero salió una hora antes del trabajo porque la hora de la computadora estaba mala. Ah, de verdad. ¿Y, qué, y, qué, ¿Y le hicieron observación o qué? Le hicimos bullying toda la semana. <risa> Como buen compañero. Yeah, the problem uh, that usually happens also with cell phones that they uh, update according to the system or the region that they are uh, configured, you know. De acuerdo a la zona horaria donde están configurados los teléfonos, algunas veces uh, a mí me sucede que de repente veo que se me adelanta dos horas. And I say, wow, what, what, what time is it now? And I remember and I switch it, I, I change it. Y lo cambio porque eh, puede suceder cualquier cosa así de ese tipo. Teacher, I get up very early. Okay, imagine. For that reason, you need to go to bed early too. I understand that situation. Okay. Bueno, nos hemos quedado con las preguntas directas e indirectas. Eh, me hubiese gustado ir por lo menos dos, tres ejemplos. I'm still waiting for that. But... Hola. Tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, teacher. <laughs> Tomorrow morning is going to be. Ya sonó la alarma, ya. Ya no ah, hay tiempo. Ya no se puede. Ya. <laughs> hay tiempo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have a proposal. Okay, okay. Me voy, okay. En, me voy a hacer en español mi propuesta. Porque no nos manda, así como la vez pasada, para hacer ejemplos, porque. Al ver las diapositivas e intentarlo, creo que me sale, pero hacerlas ahorita no. O sea, sí la entendí, pero no, no, 
como el papá. No hay como. Ah. Okay, let me see before we go. I know that it's really late now. Uh, I need just to show you something here. Let me see what I have. I got a lot of paper here in my computer. Okay, before we go, before we go, before we go. Porque ya sonó la alarma, dijo Wendy. Because of the time, teacher. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I, I, I know, because of the time. Okay, uh, yeah, let us see only, only, only the first one, only the first one. Use the introductory phrases in question. Uh, to write uh, indirect yes no question comparing that we only only just this one. Can you tell me? Can you tell me is the ma machinery capable of performing these processes? I don't know if you can get it. If you can get the the the, the interaction. Use the introductory phrases and question to write indirect question. The second one says, I like to know. That means that we switch because the question is start right here. Will the manufacturer buy a new machinery to produce our other on times? And it's different when I say, I like to know, I would like to know, yeah, if, instead of will, if the manufacturer, I don't know if you got my idea, no? No. Teacher, the if, a... Uh... After, no, before the will. O sea, si usamos la preposición if entre, para separar la oración, digamos, de la frase introductoria. En todas yes. las. Yes. Sí. Ah, ok. Sí, porque por ejemplo en la primera sería, could you tell me if. Uh -huh. Está facilito. Y en ese, en ese, bueno, ese ejemplo está fácil, pero en ese tendríamos que obviar, eh, si no trae el verbo can, eh, el signo de interrogación al final. Bueno, algunas cosas las entendí. Sí, pero, no pero, 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 pero fíjese que aquí, por ejemplo, como la frase dice, can you tell me, uh -huh. entonces ya es una pregunta. Sí. Ah, ok. Tiene que llevar ah, el indirecta signo. y siempre el, el signo. Siempre okay. el signo, okay. Por, okay. porque okay. tiene estructura de pregunta. Ok. Diferente sería en la número dos que dice, I, I like to know mm -hmm. if the manufacturer, okay. ¿sí? Okay. If the manufacturer will buy new machinery to produce our order on time. Ahí okay. sí ya no llevaría. Eh, ya no llevaría el signo. Ok, teacher. Wow, ok, ahí los dejo con eso ya. I'm sorry. Ok, let me check out the attendance antes de que se me vayan la asistencia. La asistencia, yo sé que madrugan todos, madrugan. Me too. Estamos ya como en New York, la ciudad que nunca duerme, así estamos nosotros. Dormimos poco, trabajamos mucho y ganamos poco. Malo. <laughs> exactly. No. Sad. No, that is, the, that, that is the true, you know. Well, at least I'm talking about me. I don't know you. Hablo de mí. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ya se me durmió. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Bautista. Present teacher. Escobar. Present. Eh, Claudia. Present. Francis. 
Galileo, Jonathan, Rodrigo, Juan Carlos, present, Laura, present, María Concepción, present, María Elena, present, Mayra, Veralice, Miguel, Zaira. Santo. Present teacher. Present teacher. Ajá. Ok. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Present. Yesenia. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Brian. Ok. Zaira. It's your turn today. I don't know if you are able to. Are you there, Saira? No, I don't see you. I don't see you, I don't see you, I don't see you, I don't see you, I don't see you. Okay. Saira is not here, I don't see her. No veo a Saira, está todavía, ya se fue. Ya se me fue a dormir, dice. Ok, veo que yo sé que tenemos uh, muchas cosas que hacer, pero el uno a uno es importante eh, para todos, porque ahí podemos clarificar algunas dudas que tengamos y que a veces no las podemos hacer en el grupo. But it's up to you. I ask when, uh, at the moment that I had to make my report, I do it. because it's mandatory, okay? Thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Uh, of course, I know that tomorrow is going to be Friday, but el cuerpo no lo sabe. <laughs> <laughs> My body again. Yeah, tomorrow. Carlos, Carlos, Carlos. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night, good night. Good night, good night, good night, good night. Thank you, teacher. God bless you, Chavador. Uh, a friend say, I work as a slave all the year to life as a queen one day. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye-bye.